Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Reaper to create a click track. So a click track is an audio track where the left channel is typically a, uh, a metronome signal that the live instrumentalist can use to keep time. And the right channel is a combination of one or more uh, instruments that you don't have in your live setting. So you can use a click track to augment your your live uh, performance with instruments that you don't have. And then the, the metronome signal again is used so that the live musicians can keep the same time as the pre-recorded audio. And typically uh, click track uh, will come as you as you see here um, we have here an acoustic guitar a bass guitar brass and winds there's our click drum a couple of electric guitars a couple of keyboards percussion strings and a vocal track and so each one of these is this uh, is the, the individual instrument and um, if we play uh, let's play the click and just see what it sounds like one two three Four. And then we'll play, uh, we'll just play one of the keyboards and see what it sounds like here. Okay, so you get the idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Reaper to create a custom click track for just the instruments that we want. Um, and it's actually really easy. Now, one of the things um, that you'll notice is what we actually got off the CD from the from the manufacturer of the of the tracks was MP3 files, and uh, I don't like working with MP3 files, so I'm going to go ahead and select these, and I'm going to convert them into WAV files. Um, I we, we could do AIFF, but um, I think Reaper works better with WAV files. Um, it's kind of a more universal universal file format so once we finish converting I'm actually going to delete these mp3s and get them out of the way um, it's okay so now I've got uh, a WAV file for um, for all my different instruments so I'm going to select them and I'm going to drag them into Reaper and I'm going to be sure to line it up with time code zero here now I switch over to Reaper. Reaper asks us, do we want to combine all those tracks into a single track or separate tracks? And of course we want separate tracks at this point. So once we do that, Reaper imports all of our tracks. You can see here they are listed. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to we want to pan all of our instruments um, to the right and we want to pan our click to the left. So the easiest way to do that is let's just select um, one of our tracks and then hit Command A to select all of them. And then we're going to pan all the way to the right. Now I'm going to select just the click and I'm going to pan it all the way to the left. Okay, now we need to go through and decide which instruments we want. Well, we've got an acoustic guitar, so we don't want it, so we're going to mute it. Um, we've got a bass guitar, we're going to mute it. We don't have brass and winds, so we're going to leave that. We've got drums, we're going to mute that. Um, I'm going to leave the electric guitars. I'm going to leave the keys for now. And I'm going to mute the vocals. So now that we've got everything selected, let's go ahead and play it back and see what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. So that's it. Notice that I've got my master gain set at about uh, negative eight. Um, somewhere between negative eight and negative six is good. Um, if we bring it up to zero, it, it really uh, it really kind of peaks out on that click at, uh, at plus twelve. So I like to bring it down um, 
somewhere around like negative 3 dB. Um, so at this point, we've got the uh, track just the way we like it. Let's click on File, Render. We're going to render the master mix. We'll give it a name. Pick our format, AIFF, Wave, whatever. Render one file. You can see there's our click on the left side, and here's our instruments on the right side. Switch back over into Finder. Now we have a Forever AIF, and let's listen to it. One, two, three, four. Now I'll skip around so we can hear some different parts. And then uh, let's go ahead and listen to the ending here. Notice the click is cut out. One, two, three, four, and off. So that's it. It's really easy to make a click track with Reaper. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.